Two uninhabited Pacific islands. More than 5,000 miles from the UK. One will be inhabited by 14 British men. Go, go, go. While a separate island will be home to 14 British women. For six weeks, they will be utterly alone. With only the clothes they stand up in, fishing equipment and a handful of basic tools. Filming everything themselves. That is awesome! When pushed to the limits of human endurance, Dang! will it be brute power Woo! or mental strength that wins the day? Daddy brought home the bacon! Yay! Yeah! Who will have what it takes to stay alive? Tonight is the final instalment of the Women's Island. I do not want to be on camera today. Anybody films me, I'll kick off. Survival will be harder than ever. The search for food is now a matter of life and death. It's a shark! Living on the island in the middle of tropical storm season. I think we are on our last legs. When pitted against the extremes of nature. Hang on! Ah! Oh, shit! No, no, no. With the finishing line in sight. Hey! And these Monday women got what it takes to survive. I'll do what I want to do. You cannot stand there and go, I'm not going to do it. Let me finish. As usual, arguments have started. Oh, I know. Don't fight. I know. I know. Oh, I know. You want to get off here, and it better be soon. After nearly five weeks on the island, the ten remaining women were on the verge of failure. Jenny! So <laughs> they were dangerously dehydrated and had an urgent medical warning. We're going to have to pull the plug on this. That their lives were at risk. We are in scary territory where we just don't know what's happening to our bodies. But they pulled themselves back from the brink. Ooh, we caught a fish! Oh my god, it's massive! <laughs> Now entering their sixth week surviving on the island, food in the camp vicinity is running out. The starving women face a battle to make it to the end. Is it worth hitting them with a machete? Wait, 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 wait. Desperate for something to eat. Becky, Julie and Georgie brave the vicious incoming tide to scavenge the last remaining oysters. Bloody hell. Today I'm feeling like absolute shit. I know that I keep saying I feel like shit, but today I feel like dried white dog poo shit. Since they've arrived on the island, the starving women have shed more than 140 pounds between them. Not doing that one. The weight of an average woman. Our coconut supply is running low. Our yucca around here is non-existent. The limes have now gone. The almond fruits that grow on the trees here, we've eaten all of those. Oh, they stink. For six weeks, vegetarian Jamie has been surviving on nothing but nuts and coconuts. As soon as I get off here, I need to get as much protein in me as I can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a dirty pot. Yeah. Hey, you get a big bat. Big fat sausage in you as soon as you <laughs> Sometimes I do eat meat, but only the sausage variety. <laughs> Sometimes I like a bit of chorizo, <laughs> but I don't like them chocolates. <laughs> Here, let me help you. With food so scarce around camp, the rest of the women are having to rely solely on the fishing net they've set in the shallows. Oh, I think you've got something in the net. It's a shark. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That is unbelievable. Right, got him. Quick, 
No supper for us tonight. There's ten of us, and I think we are on our last legs. When Mother Nature slams that larder door firmly shut, things in a group can rapidly go downhill. You're hungry, you're despondent, and it's so tempting to give up. But like so many things in life and in the wild, it's actually about how you respond to those crisis moments. I've literally been up almost all night trying to keep that fire alive. From day one, the women have governed themselves in a leaderless community, trying to make group decisions. What, was there not enough wood? Have we run out of wood now? We ran out of wood last night and everyone went You're to You're joking. Yeah. People just know they need to get wood. End of story. That's the bit that I don't get. There's no leader. Not one person rules the roost. We work collectively, so we have to kind of use our initiative and work off that. So if, say, I want to go foraging, I don't have to be told to go foraging. I'm going to go foraging. All the decisions we've made thus far have been made collaboratively. We've not needed to conform to a system where there's a leader. The women need to survive seven more days on the island. Any hope of dinner depends entirely on catching fish. The women are yet to establish a rotor for checking the nets, and Julie has made a discovery. The net is in a right mess. It's just, it's curled over that tight. There's no teamwork. There's no organization. There's nobody wants responsibility for anything. Holy shit. It's an absolute state. I mean, have you seen that? It's twisted and twisted and twisted. High stormy seas have destroyed their last hope of getting something to eat. Fishing is the only thing that we survive off at the minute. We need to get it sorted ASAP. It's just getting more and more tangled. Yeah, no, but just pulling it like that's going to rip it, isn't it? No, it's not. Well, it is when, I when people are... It. Well, right, I'll just wait and bring you to it. Well, stop being a stroppy Jamie cow, Jamie. Gone. What's the weird? Where's Jamie gone? Fucking want to get fucking off ya. They better be fucking soon. I would say I've had a hard life growing up. My mum's got MS and she's in a care home. She's always said to me to basically live life to the full because she's never been able to do the things that I've done. It's made me extremely independent. So if someone was to start bossing me about, it would make me really upset and probably make me really angry. I'll do what I want, when I want. I don't want anybody telling me what to do, bossing me about, fed up. You have to do things that, you know, you don't always want to do, but it's for the team. I've had enough of fucking everything! It's really a shit! If, I, if anything's going to make me leave this island, it's the people. It's the last thing you wear. Well, darling, I mean, I don't know what to say to you other than I'm, you know, I completely agree. I thought we were all going to be a team and pull together and... It's not like that at all, is it? It's absolutely not like that at all. The effects of starvation on the body are not just physical. Extreme hunger makes people desperate, depressed, irritable, and all the negative emotions that women are experiencing will be amplified. And if their rifts are merging now, what hunger will do, it will act like a crowbar, forcing those rifts further apart. Six a.m. So, what's everybody doing? Can we just make it clear? Nobody's taken responsibility to set a fire rotor, so it's left to Beth and Lauren again to keep the embers going through the night. I'm sorting out the fire. You're sorting out your socks. While Jamie has slept. 
I think you should help. Right, well, do you know what? I can't be doing with this. Literally, you've got to bend over and get well, fucking twigs. Just stop fucking bossing me about, right? Look, those rose hip. I want to show my daughter that I can be brave. I want to show her that there are endless possibilities and a woman can do anything. I'm hoping we're all going to group together and be a team, especially because it's a, just a group of women. I think we've all got a little bit of something to prove. I will help when I'm ready. I've been up all night with the friggin' fire, and I'm tired too. And you're sitting there sawing out your fucking feet. I've got socks on. Whatever. You're fucking lazy. It's it's outrageous. It the it's, ab it's absolutely outrageous. Oh, we're all a bit fed up with Jamie. There, I've said it. It's really making me frustrated. And every time I stop, I feel like people are looking at me. Actually, you know, I didn't mean to hurt anyone's feelings and I don't know, but oh, I think we're going to end up killing each other by the end of this, I really do. We are a completely dysfunctional as a group. I find that deeply upsetting and deeply frustrating that uh, we're, we're led by mush. We need a leadership to get our self together, to get our food sorted, um, and we just can't live in this sort of hand-to-mouth, piecemeal way. More thought needs to be going into this, for sure. Lauren and Beth call an emergency meeting. We're working as a democracy and, you know, things were pretty positive. Something, something has gone wrong somewhere. What, what do you think has gone wrong? We're literally starved. The group feels fragmented and that we're not a unit. I don't know how that fire's managed to keep going. It's literally by luck and coincidence that we keep rocking up going, oh, fuck, the fire's literally just about to go out. And, oh, God, I've just got that drab of water. And, you know, it's basically lack of structure because then we have lack of food and it's kind of a knock-on effect. I think, personally, we need to decide on a leader to set out what is needed and a plan of action. I can hear you're really passionate, Georgie, and I totally get it. But I think, for me, we collaboratively lead the group. Harvey, that system is not working because we've done that. And I think we're stumbling from one day to the next. And now we're in crises. I'm with Harvey here. Why is it necessary to have the leader? Because the leader knows them. where everything is. The leader will okay. lead you and you go, right, OK, these, these are the priorities. Why should I let somebody boss me about and te tell me what to, what to do? I'll do what I want to do. You cannot stand there and go, I'm going to do what I want to do, and if someone's telling me what to do, I'm not going to do it. But we all need to come together. Exactly, but the arguments have started already. It's not an argument, Jenny. This is what happens when you try and elect leaders. Trying to improve their destructive group dynamic is important for the women. Now they've turned on each other, they've pushed their very survival back into jeopardy. And without decisive leadership, they won't make it to the end. I'm so torn. I'm torn. I mean, the fact that we're so torn means that there isn't ever going to be a leader. I want a double cheeseburger with extra cheese, extra gherkins, onions, a little bit of lettuce, tomato, just for good measure. It's the final week on the island. Food is scarce and the women are starving. H. Don't talk about food. What do we, what's the new rule we say when we penis, think? Penis, penis, penis. Penis, penis, penis. Just say that instead. It'll stop you thinking about it. That's why I'm down today. I'm craving food. Penis. We're in a really shit situation, and there has to be someone that's ballsy enough to grab the ball by the horns and go, do you know what, guys, this is what we need to do. A violent storm is pummeling the island. Is Jamie still out there? Yeah, she's having some time there. Most of the women are sheltering under the fire canopy. 
but one of them has removed herself from the group. Jamie's we're still toughing it out on the beach. Sopping wet knickers. Isn't that a definition of sexy? It's been a broken night's sleep, lying on the wet ground. The rain has brought an onslaught of insect attacks. I do not want to be on camera today. If anybody films me, I'll kick off. The insect bites are driving me around the fucking bend. I'd like to punch each fly in the nose. We had something to fuck off biting us last night, and I had bites all over my ass. Bloody ridiculous. Basically, get rid of all this shit on the roof. Painful, itchy bites aren't their only problem. I mean, there literally is a twig holding that fucking lot up. The storm has wreaked havoc in camp. That don't look good, honey. The desperate hunt for food has to be put on hold as the canopy protecting the fire is on the verge of collapse. It's that big crack there running along the middle of it. Yeah. How are you getting on? Slow. But it's better than what we've got, right, which is zero right now. To shield them from insects and rain, Fee and Georgie have decided to build a raised bed with a roof. It's a very busy camp today to make sure we have a good shelter for us and our fire is as dry as a boat. All hands on deck. Down, 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 there. That's it, you got it. Shall I go that end and push? Yeah. Where's everybody gone? I think Harvey and, and Jamie are having a lie down. It's just got too serious, and I know we've got jobs to do, but why is there so much pressure all of a sudden? Guys, we haven't finished! I know I know we're not finished. I was actually just having a little bit of a rest. Ah. I was in cool. So give me a break, please. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you haven't finished, that's all. Right. Just whack them all on now. I think I might go on strike some more. Let's get this roof on, guys, and then we can have a proper tidy. I'm going to kill myself with these fucking bottles. <laughs> While the rest of the group toil away on the bed shelter, Ooh. Jamie and Belinda decide to take the afternoon off. I kind of feel a little bit like, you know when someone comes into your house and takes a massive shit in your toilet, eats all your food, t messes your house and then leaves and goes, bye now! We have been upset and tired and angry and so there's only so long that those things can go on for until you have to do something. Yeah. So we have to change it. If we're not happy, then do something about it. Beth and Lauren take decisive action. They call an election. Jamie! Hi. Hi, love. We're having a meeting. Clothes are optional. I find Jamie so unpredictable. I don't know if she's going to shrug it off and just say, oh, do you know what, whatever, or if she's going to kick off about it. All the great expeditions have always had a leader, whether it's Amazon, Scott, or Shackleton. But resistance to leadership is not uncommon. We've called this meeting today because not much has changed and most people still want a leader. If anybody would like to go for leadership, please make yourself be known. Me and Beth. I'm confused, to be honest. What, what, what's, what's so bad? We need a leader so everyone knows exactly what they're doing. You know my feelings on the leadership. Not happy with it. Our whole experience has been amazing. And so I, want, I just want to, to end on success. And it means a lot, I think, to show that we never gave up. Yeah. yeah. I so get you. I so want Bear to come and look at our camp and think, crikey, those girls were good. Do we need to take a vote? We should just go forward to it, because you're the only people who want to do it. You're happy to go with that, mm -hmm. Beth and Lauren. Are people happy with that? 
Jamie. Yeah. Lauren and Beth are going to run the leadership jointly. <laughs> After all of that, well done. Thank you. Be proud of yourselves. Yeah. Yes. I was so nervous um, leading up to it. I was just thinking, oh my God. How is this going to be taken, especially after the other day? But actually, it seems pretty positive. And we need to just straighten out this air. The new leader's first priority is to feed everyone. We are now going to move the nets basically at a different angle in the sea. So hopefully we can get a fish. Together, the women have untangled the vital fishing net. OK. Keep it up. They're now determined to finally land a big catch. I think the net is great. I think at least we're trying. I, I think God loves to try it. And I think that Jamie's just feeling undervalued, that sort of thing. With all ten women needed to tackle the food crisis, Lauren has to bring Jamie back into the fold. We need every single one of those girls in the group to get through this. I know what it feels like to fail at something that you give your all to, and I'm not prepared to go through that again. I probably picture myself as a bit of a young leader. In 2013, I decided to row across the Atlantic. The boat capsized, I split my head open. The failure of the rows left a huge void in my life. And then I thought, yep, the island's definitely something I want to do. This is definitely how I'm going to get it back. I always give my everything to whatever challenge I set myself. So when I fail, I feel I, f I feel that in a big way. Jay, Jamie. So I just want to clear the air. I was feeling like you weren't helping out, but what I should have done, absolutely, what I should have done is come and talk to you about it. I remember, I woke up with them bites all over my face, and that put me in a, a sort of vicious cycle where I was like just not enjoying being here and uh, not motivated to do anything. Get more involved if you want to do stuff yeah. like... I do sometimes feel like I can't be arsed. <laughs> oh, no. Hi. Oh, I'm sorry. I probably come across selfish but I hope that they can understand that I didn't mean to hurt anyone's feelings and... I don't want to leave, you know, this island feeling sour and bitter. So I think we're here. Yeah. So this is our beach. Lauren's plan now is to search for food beyond the confines of their beach. We go up that track until we hit that middle path. Right. And then we go down with the sea always on our left-hand side. She leads a hunting party deep into the jungle. See you later. Along the coast. <laughs> oh, my nail was stuck in this fucking gooey bag. Vegetarian Jamie has volunteered to scavenge for limpets to feed the rest of the group. Oh my god, honestly, what is that? Oh. Ah. Anything? Does that look rotten to you? Yeah, yeah, an animal's been at it. I've got snails the size of your head. The women on the other side of the island are still on the hunt for yucca. It would really suck to have come all of this way and not find yucca. Guys, I've just found a tin of something. Whoa! Like might be a oh tin of peaches. God. Thanks, baby. Oh, my God. That's going to make everyone super happy. Yeah. We found two tins of baked beans! You found beans? The rusty tins are packed with protein and sugar and may have been left by a hunting party from another island. It's a lucky find. Tonight, my dear, we have got baked beans. Can't wait. I can't wait to eat it. Oh! Da -da 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 -da. What is in the tin? Oh, wow! 
it couldn't be better news for Jamie, who survived on nothing but coconuts for weeks. Fucking hell. Oh my god! Is that not the nicest baked bean you've ever had in your life? Beans! You've actually turned the day around completely. Thank you very much, Jamie. Yeah, that was really sweet. I've never been so excited about baked beans in all my life. Oh my god, this is amazing! This is amazing! This is amazing. Oh my god, what are we doing passing it round? I can't even begin to tell you how good they are. Oh, oh my god. Sweet, yummy, tasty, protein. Thank you so much, girls. From today onwards, we're going to try and think about what needs to be done to get the whole group to kind of work as a one machine to a point where we do have enough food. It's Jamie's first belly filling meal on the island. Need a man! Have a look in six day. weeks! No, it's been longer than that. Oh, do you know what? Do you want to hear a funny story? Oh my god, this is hilarious. As a dental technician, you know, like the mould that you take of the teeth? Well, you can use that stuff for also taking an impression oh, yeah. of your cock. My ex-boyfriend came round for dinner. He was going on and on and on. I want, I want you, I want you to do my well, I want you to do my I was like, oh. honest, I've still got it to this day, this big oh. stone plaster cast of a willy. Wow. And then it was like, it's like a lethal weapon, it weighs a ton. <laughs> <laughs> I personally have struggled. Jesus, I have struggled. But you know what? To everyone that thought I wasn't gonna survive. I'm here still. <laughs> 6 a.m. We are on our way to catch some fishies. Leaders Lauren and Beth decide the time has come for an all out assault to conquer the island. For the survivor, determination is a critical one. And I love that Winston Churchill quote that sums it up. It just says, never, ever, ever. Oh, that is beautiful. So far, a big fish haul has eluded them. The women are now praying their plan to reposition the net has been successful. I would give anything for there to be fish in this net now. I'm scared. I don't want a lot. For fear of disappointment. Oh, oh, what was that? What have we got? What have we got? So far, we've got two catfish, one other fish, two stingrays. Yeah! <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Yeah! One other stingray. Two. Awesome work. Awesome work. to know that you're going to eat. There's not, that worry's not there now. But it's sort of true that our survival skills aren't that bad and we can make it work. Yeah. I do miss toilet seats. Yeah, I can't wait to have a poo on the toilet. Three days left on the island. Guys, what's the plan for today? We need two people to do water collection ASAP. I don't mind doing it again. We just need to get shitloads of wood. Then we're going to get on to cleaning this area because it's gross. Top plan. I love a plan. Lauren's new daily rotor is galvanising the women. Lauren, what are we doing? Sweeping away the leaves of the girls. And we like a clean floor. I'm going to put this over your head. Oh, my Get God. Get the camera down. Oh, my God. We've started to line the entrance with coconuts. Now we need some candles. Oh, wouldn't that be dreamy? Seashell bunting. Oh. The harvest is absolutely beautiful. I love making stuff. That costs a fortune back home. These guys can come together. They can look after each other. They can build community. They can find that kind of 
something inside that drives them on, that positive stuff. But also, ultimately, they're, they're not just surviving, they're now learning to thrive. And that's when you kind of see the magic. We've got enough food now, we've got enough water, we've kept the fire going, and so our priority now is shelter. Oh, here's a big bastard, a big jobby. Until that boat rocks up on this shore, we're going to be tidying up, organising, so it's, it's about pride and it's wanting to show to the world that what the majority of females are made of and what we're capable of doing with nothing. Oh, my God! <laughs> it's like a tent, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, ho. oh! Oh, God, it's nice, noisy. you know. Yeah, but, oh, God, but it's comfortable. Oh, it's lovely. That is mega wow! I could rest my bones here for a while, methinks. And teamwork, it's nice that we've all built something together, you know? And I think it's amazing and awesome. Carnival! I'll take it to Rio. Beth and Lauren's vision for how the island should run began. Mm. Jesus, how much better is it? I cannot begin to tell you. Babes, come outside, I've got a present for you. Okay, close your eyes. What is that? Ready? I know you, you little bitch. <laughs> Relationships are renewed. The camp is now secure and comfortable, and finally there's food on the table. This is our first lunch. Mm. Now we've worked it out. I really think we have worked out how to do it. Yay! We've survived. And most of all, now we are thriving. Is the tide coming in or going out? Coming in. Ah! Becky, Lauren and Beth brave the morning tide to fetch water for the camp. We made it! Woo! As they head back, Lauren makes a discovery. Becky! Oh, look who we found here! Oh, hi there! Come and join me, ladies! Yay! Lauren plans to use a washed-up polystyrene block as a raft to make the exhausting daily water run easier and quicker. Are you kidding me? What? The made around? That is amazing! <laughs> I never, ever thought it was going to be as hard as it has been. If I can complete this, then I know within myself that I didn't fail at rowing across the Atlantic. And I need that, I need that closure, I need that feeling that I am strong enough within myself to finish something. We come with water. It's the sun, doesn't it, for the Navy? <laughs> Beer girls can bugger off. We've got Lauren, we're fine. With the fight for survival mastered, they can now embrace the island's delights. in both survival and in life you know good things and worthwhile things don't always come easy and for those that can endure on the island there will come a sense of pride that money really can't buy you know and it's a pride that will have been hard earned through heart through grit and through endeavor We're going to check the net and crab hunting. Woo -hoo! <laughs> so excited! As their days on the island draw to a close, the women are seizing every opportunity to get food. Quick, 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 quick! Ow! Oh. Here we go, big end! Right, well, got him! Give us that book here. Yeah, go on, get him in! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Did yes. oh. you got another one? Yeah. Oh my god. What's happened to me? I was sure I was a lady in the pool. To follow the crab starter, they're hoping to catch a main course in their fishing net. Well, this looks very wrinkled. Have a quick look. Here's the water. 
There's a fish, there's a fish. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's got a big one. <gasps> wow. Fuck me, what is it? What is it? It's huge. It's a shark. It's shark. He's still alive. I need something to hit him with. I need a big piece of wood. OK, OK, I'll get it. There's a bit of wood. Right, good job, guys. I hope everyone's hungry. Right, come on, ladies. So, please, fish for breakfast, fish for supper. What? Nailing it. Yeah, take this one. That's delicious. Food porn. <laughs> This is Foxtrot. This is Foxtrot. I have some news for you, ladies. Tomorrow, a man called Bear will be coming to your island. You are coming home. <laughs> on the island and we've actually done it. Jeez, well done. Well done. It's mad. I feel numb and I feel fear. You know when you've had like a near miss in the car or something yeah. and you go like <gasps> yeah. like that and then it hits and you go a bit numb and you have to pull over because you're a bit shaky. Yeah. I feel like I've just been nearly hit. It's a women's final night on the island. Okay, so we need to find some sort of cup. Do we have a sort of cup? And there's much oh, to celebrate. I got my ticket for the long way round Two bottle whiskeys by the way And I sure would like some sweet company And I'm leaving tomorrow, what do you say? When I'm gone, when I'm gone You're gonna miss me when I'm gone You're gonna miss me by my hair You're gonna miss me everywhere Oh, you're still gonna miss me when I'm gone either a great adventure or nothing. Fast as we can. We're a group of completely ordinary, down-to-earth women. <laughs> what? Oh, you fucking say it came it's towards fun. me! It came right out of me! With no survival experience. Fuck. Oh my god, there's a caiman. That is a big fucker. We face adversity every step of the way. We cannot walk anywhere on this island without getting lost. But we kept fighting. Get the knife! Get the knife! You are not leaving this island to the fucking end game, right? <laughs> we were wet, cold and starving. I just need to get some food. Just something. Yet we found the strength to keep pushing on. Like a little fire. Fucking giant one! Look at this! If we hadn't have kept going, it would have been the end. <laughs> memories will fade, but what we will remember are the women we experienced it with, the friendships, and how they made us feel. Tomorrow, the women finally go home. It's really weird. We all feel so comfortable in a way with each other, sort of like a family. I don't want to go home, but I don't want to leave. I know. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you guys. 
genuinely, oh. what you've been through, respect. Thank you. You now understand this stuff is tough, you know? Thank you. Well done, you. Well done, you. Well, welcome. Welcome Thank to you. our island. Wow, look at this. This is cool. It's very cool. Here's our island. And it's so clean. <laughs> I love this. That's Harvey. Thank you. Oh, it's a little touches. We've got a bed made of bottles and a separate area for sitting and lounging around and, you know, just generally hanging out. And this is so smart. It's getting you off the ground, yeah. but it's communal. Let's face it, guys, we like to spoon, don't we? Love a spoon. We love a spoon. Yeah. We've met the stereotype with our decorations and our little feminine touches, but totally blown it away by the strength and the stamina and the guts and the determination. These women have got balls, and big balls at last. I would agree with that. You ready to get the hell off this island? <laughs> if I hadn't turned up today, and I turned up in six months, I bet these guys would be in pretty good shape. Oh, I don't know <laughs> And I knew it. I knew the stereotype was wrong, you know? But I knew they could nail this. And for me, I'm so genuinely proud of what they have achieved. And they should be. And they are. achieved this. We have shown the world that women can achieve anything. What I've learned is I need to appreciate what I've got right now and not strive to look for other better things. I think it's made me more content. I've decided that I'm OK. I'm not such a bad person. I'm a good skin. But being here, I felt so alive and I thought, God, this is me, so I feel happy. And so, yeah, for me, I feel like this is it. This is, this is where I get something out of life, and I want to run with it. But I've survived for nearly two months, and we've done it. I can do any shit that I want, and so can anybody else. It's brilliant. We're amazing. Okay, ladies, welcome back to civilization. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I made it. I can't believe I made it. Oh, I'm getting emotional with that. I've just been dead brave. I've been really brave. Oh, for me. <laughs> the women have had no contact with the outside world and loved ones for six weeks. Hi, Mum. You OK? Are you OK? Yeah, it was amazing. It was really fucking hard as well. Hello? Hello? Oh, my God, baby! Oh, we can't wait to see you. Yeah, I've look, look, I miss you all as well, more than I ever imagined. <laughs> Hello, Daddy, I've missed you so much. Oh, oh, oh. oh God, it's like, it's emotional. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. <gasps> Having been stripped of any luxuries, they're finally reintroduced to the modern world. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How nice does that feel? Amazing, the, the way it cuts your bottom. What the hell, my eyebrows? God, it's so clean. I love clean, being clean, you know. Oh, this is amazing. The women's bodies are in a fragile state, and for the first three days, they must stick to a simple diet.
chicken. Oh, yeah, even the smell of the rice is good. This is our first meal off the island, girls. This experiment ultimately shows that really it isn't about gender. It's about attitude. Some people have that heart and mind of a survivor. Determined, team players, hardworking, resourceful. What these ordinary women have been through genuinely is remarkable. They've endured unbelievable hardships and they've come out of it empowered and positive. And for that, they've won my respect big time. It's like the best camping ever, isn't it? <laughs> Hello! We can't just come off a boat and stay in the same place. <laughs> <laughs> Let's walk! Let's walk! Wonder if you've got what it takes to survive on the island? Go to channel4.com forward slash the island for information about the next series. Next Wednesday, it's the final instalment of the Men's Island. <laughs> I'm gonna go to hell for this. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm the scorpion. People are just starting not to give a shit anymore. Come on, boys! Song! Mother Nature in this island will bite you whenever she feels fit. And next Thursday, how the women and men did it for six weeks, surviving the island at the same time, nine. But coming up into the virtual world of dating apps, love has changed. Foxy or fickle? Swipe right for the secret world of Tinder next.